thanks for taking the time to find out a little more about the Jaguar I-PACE. It's fair to say this car has set our company on a whole new direction as the first all-electric vehicle in Jaguar's history. For many of our customers, it will be their first electric car too. There are many reasons people are drawn to I-PACE. From a financial point of view, for company car drivers, and 100% tax write-down for companies is very attractive. As electric vehicles are exempt from the London congestion charge until 2025, drivers could save over £250 a month on standard fees. And the running costs for I-PACE work out to about 5 pence a mile, between 20 and 40% of the cost of a petrol or diesel car. Perhaps the critical reception has stoked interest. At launch, it won pretty much every award it was eligible for, including three of the six World Car of the Year awards. From an environmental point of view, it's very appealing, emitting no exhaust gases and greatly reduced brake dust particles. The major reason people buy it, though, is because they love it. The exterior design is dictated by the very different packaging of an electric vehicle. So instead of the long Jaguar bonnet, there's a very short bonnet because there's no ambition to squeeze a V8 supercharger underneath it. In fact, the electric motors sit directly on the axles, front and back. This leaves more room for the passenger compartment, so iPACE offers comfortable, spacious accommodation with plenty of leg and headroom for passengers in the rear. And because there's no fuel tank, the batteries sit along the floor, there's a very generous boot. This is a very practical vehicle with a flowing side profile that is bound to turn heads. And that practicality continues with the usable electric range. The official figure is 292 miles. In real world driving, the actual figure you get is heavily dependent on usage. Used exclusively around town, it'll beat 300 miles before it needs charging. On motorways, that figure will be closer to 200. But because you simply charge at home overnight, it's only when doing a trip of over 200 miles in a day that you need to think about charging en route. For most people, this will cover virtually all the driving they do. When you do need to top up en route, with 100 kilowatt charging, another 78 miles of range can be added in as little as 15 minutes. With the more common 50 kilowatt chargers, this would take closer to 30 minutes. Prioritising the driving range of the car has informed the design. Aerodynamics are vitally important, so the air scoop on the bonnet channels air over the roof using the laminate effect to reduce drag as the car cuts through the air. At the back, a spoiler channels some of the air up to produce downforce, but a cutout in the spoiler channels some of the air over the rear screen to act as an air blade, forcing water and dirt off the hydrophobically coated rear screen, so there's no need for a rear wiper. Deployable door handles sit flush with the doors when driving for uninterrupted airflow and a nice moment of theatre when you unlock the car in the morning and it offers its handles out in greeting. Power management, of course, is a key part of the story as climate control is integrated into the heat pump system that regulates the temperature of the battery and motors and can strip heat energy from the outside air if it's anything above freezing. LED lights are used throughout for their low energy usage. From a driver's point of view, the sleek LED headlights have a colour temperature close to natural daylight, which makes driving at night less of a chore. The optional matrix LED lights go one further, creating a cone of shadow around other road users so as not to dazzle them, but maintaining full beam illumination everywhere else for unsurpassed nighttime vision. For me, it would be the first option I specified on the car. The modern, minimalist cabin is filled with tactile materials. Whilst most of the buttons have been removed for a stylish, uncluttered centre console, physical dials are retained for immediate control of climate control. And with a quick press, the standard heated seats. You don't need to navigate through menus for the controls you'll use most often whilst driving. Jaguar Land Rover's new infotainment system, PIVI Pro, has an interface that will be immediately intuitive for anyone used to smartphones. And with its own separate power supply, it is always on, ready to accept commands within five seconds of power on. The onboard navigation system is always connected and can download updates over the air to ensure map data and particularly the database of charging locations is always current. Voice control makes setting a destination on the go as simple as reading out the address. PIVI Pro can automatically integrate charging points into your route if necessary and advise how long you'll need to charge to complete your journey. This connectivity means that online calendars and music streaming services can be accessed straight from PIVI Pro. Even parking accounts allowing you to locate, register and pay for your parking right from the driving seat.
Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are standard, as is the remote app for your phone which can report the car's location, charging status and even remotely trigger the climate system, de-icing the car and warming the cabin ready for you in winter or cooling it down for you in summer, as well as bringing the battery to its most efficient operating temperature before you head out. Fast wireless phone charging is available as an option, built into the centre console. Of course, you'll need a phone that supports wireless charging to use this feature. Visibility is enhanced with new standard 3D surround cameras, providing a simulated overhead view as well as exterior views from all around the car to ensure the driver is aware of any obstacles. The optional clear sight rear view mirror uses a camera mounted in the roof antenna to give a perfect view even when the load space is filled to the roof. Underpinning all this technology is the quality of the drive and this is where iPACE captures many hearts. The electric motors are near silent, which makes for a peaceful, serene driving experience. Lifting off the throttle has a pronounced braking effect, as the iPACE recovers kinetic energy when braking to recharge the battery. With this effect on high setting, it allows for near one pedal driving in most traffic, which is very relaxing. And then you put your foot down, <laughs> and iPACE is really quick. 0-60 is just 4.5 seconds. 11 seconds can see you all the way to 100 miles an hour. But because the electric motors deliver maximum torque right from zero, the initial burst from 0 to 30 miles an hour really pins you to the seat. Throwing the car into a corner reveals that packaging 700 kilos of battery along the floor gives iPACE a really low centre of gravity, so it corners flat and with beautiful control. F-Type might have a little more agility through the bends, but even at more than half a tonne heavier, iPACE gives it a run for its money. There's masses of grip, and standard torque vectoring system tidies up your line through a corner when it starts running out. With just a single gear, power delivery is smooth and predictable, so there's no unexpected drama when overtaking. Petrol heads have told me they could never go electric, they would miss the roar of the engine too much. And then they drive it, and realise there's no shortage of feedback and driver stimulation, and the immediacy of the power is intoxicating. This is not just a great electric car to drive, it is a fantastic driver's car that sits alongside some of the best petrol cars in the world. Every model has the same twin electric motor setup, 696 newton metres of torque and around 400 brake horsepower, and powering the axles independently means all-wheel drive is standard. Generous ground clearance, half a metre of wading depth and a suite of traction control settings give substance to the SUV styling. The 90 kilowatt hour battery is shared across all specifications, so the range is the same for all models. Right from the entry level S, iPACE is packed with technology and driver comforts. Connected navigation, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, the Jaguar remote app, rear camera, heated front windscreen, heated steering wheel and heated front seats are all standard. And the 380 watt 11 speaker Meridian stereo takes full advantage of the quiet interior to deliver crisp, dynamic sound. The SE model enlarges the wheels from 19 inch up to 20 inch, adds a grained leather interior, fully power adjustable front seats with memory settings, useful if you share the car with another driver, and a powered tailgate. Also included is blind spot monitor, which will alert you to the presence of other vehicles in adjacent lanes and vehicles about to overtake. And adaptive cruise control, which uses radar to match the speed of the car in front, slowing all the way down to a stop if necessary for relaxed motorway driving and stress-free control in stop-start traffic. The range-topping HSE includes those matrix LED headlights, smooth Windsor leather, heated and cooled front seats and heated rear seats. The stereo gets a boost up to 825 watts and 15 speakers. Head-up display projects information about speed and navigation instructions onto the windscreen so you don't need to look away from the road. For those looking for something even more eye-catching, the new iPACE Black Edition models might be of interest. Featuring distinctive black alloy wheels and exterior accents, these black editions provide a different flavour. With privacy glass and a panoramic roof included, really worth taking a look. Thank you for spending a little time getting to know more about the Jaguar I-Pace.